This conference will now be recorded. So good evening all. My voice is audible girls. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So in the last class, we were discussing uh, with the chart, tree map, pie chart, we were, we were completed, right? And then one another chart is there. Call, what is that? Uh, column chart, I should do it, girls. Today topic is what? Column chart. Hmm. The same data girls, so uh, the student names, the subject, six subjects, total average. Okay. Here there is no percentage. I have not taken percentage here. Only total average is there. That's it. Okay. So what I want to do, I should select the whole data. Recommended charts. Go to the recommended charts. If I go for the recommended charts girls, you will get all type of charts. Okay. So in that you have to take all charts. See in the all charts, there are uh, so many types of charts are there. See in the column chart, there are different types. One is cluster column, stacked, 100% stacked, 3D cluster, 3D stacked column, 3D 100% like that. There are so many in the column also you have varieties, okay? So which one you want, you should select this one or this one you want, you should select it girls. Okay, I'll be going to take the first one only. Just okay, you do. Yeah, from the chart, please tell me uh, uh, who is the highest in the class? Who is the highest? Ma'am, Veena. Veena, yeah. So Veena is the highest. Yes, yes ma, correct. So what is that green color one? Is it subject or any total or average? What is that? Hmm? Um, it's total. Just check it, uh, see properly and then tell. Check properly and then tell. Yes, ma'am, it is total. Is it total? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, correct. It is a total. From the total, we can find out easily. Okay, girls, correct. Hmm. See, so I should be place the cursor outside of the chart or uh, inside the chart. To get related chart tools, I should be keep the cursor outside or I should be placed on this chart. Inside the chart. Inside the chart, yes, I should be place the cursor on the chart. Then I will get chart design and then format tools, related tools, chart related tools. Just go for the chart designs. So these all the tools I have uh, uh, explained no in the previous in the previous class for you. I taught not. I taught for you no. Yes, ma'am. So here I'll be going to change the color, ma. See, there are law colors are there so only four patterns of colors are there which one you want you select it so if you won't like all four patterns colors what you have to do to how you are going to change the color themes here only four colors four four color patterns are there the monochromatic i don't want from shading also we can find out okay but i want more colors only four patterns are there how to change the color themes where should I want to go? Page layout tab in that option. First option themes. That one organic something is there. I'll take that organic one. See now girls. Again, yeah, go to chart design. See now the colors. Now the colors are looks different. Okay. The second one, uh, the second one is looking good. I'll take that one only. And then uh, switch rows, columns. I told you already. So now 
uh, in the chart the student uh, wise it is there here subject wise is there actually in the chart uh, what is the uh, it is there here subject wise i am subject wise the chart is displaying just you click on the switch rows and columns see now it is student wise student wise is there girls okay so switch rows column see how the things is going on here student wise or subject wise student wise subject wise i'll take as a student wise so this is kannada subjects so the green dark green is asha the parrot green is ramya okay and then select data is there girls uh, in the select data i'll be going to select only language subjects here social science max total all the things is there but i don't want that i should select only language subjects so you should click on select data so here social science is there i am not selecting that i am going to unselect that Girls, only three subjects are selected ma from the option select data click on okay see now what it is showing here only all three language subjects kannada english and then hindi only subjects are showing three subjects the selected data it is showing it is displaying on the screen and then uh, your uh, chart uh, what is that change chart type is there just you click on that so in that you can uh, in the chart in the column chart only you can go for the other uh, designs the 3d one is there you can take the 3d i'll take this one girls this is looking good okay click on okay see it has changed no in the column only it has changed to the 3d you know so from which option i did that from the option change chart type okay so how we are going to find out girls which one is highest which one is the lowest any one of you tell me in the canada who is the highest one which uh, which person is highest which student is highest hmm ma'am i guess it's uh, shiva or veena hmm. shiva okay i'll place the cursor once for the confirmation shiva got 95 in the canada veena got 96 veena is the highest only one marks difference is there who is the lowest in the canada um vinod yeah vinod is highest so from height wise we can find out okay okay girls so we have selected only three subject again i'll be going for select data now i'll be going to select everything all subjects i am going to take now just okay you do see now everything is there so subject wise if i go it will be very difficult so you total wise you refer okay total wise if i see veena is the highest veena 492 but shiva how much for ah uh, 477 veena is the highest in the class actually okay so got it now select data change chart type if you don't want this type of chart again you can change it to the other pattern i'll take this click on okay now see how it's looking this is one of the style okay if you want to change sorry if you want to move this chart to the for the other sheet for example pie tree map sheet is there no for that sheet i want to move this chart how to move this there is an tool here just you click on this tool move chart okay so for which sheet i want to move this chart girls i should select the sheet first so actually i want to move this chart to the sheet uh, which sheet which sheet i told pi and tree map sheet, sheet is there no for that sheet i am selecting click on okay now see girls this is what column chart actually if i go and check it out in that sheet so here there is only data there is no chart actually what happened that chart it is deleted is it deleted girls the chart no it has moved to for the different sheet pi and tree okay try it sorry pi and tree map uh, chart sheet just you select this chart again <clears throat> chart design again move chart you select it and then you should select which one the which one which one for which sheet i should be move this column chart click on okay see now it is in in the same sheet in the column chart okay i hope you understood this switch rows columns 
select data, change chart style, type, and then move chart. The colors you, if you want, you can change girls. And then the designs. So what type of designs you want, you can change it. See, this type of design you want, you can select it. See, there are a lot of styles are there. yeah this is looking very good which very visible so i'll take this one style 9 okay that one i am going to select see this is very visible and then so the quick layouts i'm applying for the chart see the legends will move see actually the legends keys or it is in bottom side if you want you can move to the right side also the next one other one above below see now here the data also it's displaying on the screen so how many marks they have got everything it is displaying on the screen girls ah uh, this is not looking good Hmm, I'll take this one. Okay, this is looking good. And then here, access title is there. No, this side and then this side. Y axis, x axis. You can type here. So I'll be going to give in here. Um, what shall I give? Here I can give subject wise subjects. Subjects. Okay. This is subject. Then what about here? Marks marks see the title has changed here okay y-axis and x-axis title and then main title we had to give it here just you click on here i am going to give now sslc means 10 standard just i'll give the title as sslc so in the sslc uh what is that uh, who is the highest veena is the highest Again, girls, for the individual changes, just a minute, girls. Hmm. For the individual changes, I should select this chart and then there is an option here. The first option in the chart design uh, tab. What is that? Uh, so go for the add chart element in that axis is there. Horizontal axis and then vertical axis. See, If it is both, if it is there, then it will be looks good. okay so depth if you want you can take just you place the cursor then see the things how the uh, changes are going on here okay the depth i'll take okay this is looking good actually and then again access title if it is both the sides, if it is there, the title, then it will be easy, girls. Don't make any things, ma. Let it be like that only. Next, chart title. It is none. None, if I give, it won't show you any title of this. Above chart, center, like that. So, let it be in above. And then again, go for the add labels. Okay. Data callouts. Data callouts, if I give, if I take. See, it will be merged. We can't understand anything else, but don't want. I'll show you how to add the values. I'll show you later that. So again, go for the data table with the legend keys. See, there is a data also. Actually, wait, I'll change the chart uh, type. Okay, again, change chart type. Uh, the first one I'll take, okay. Yeah, this one I'll take. Yeah, now my chart is like this. Now you go chart, uh, add chart element. Now you see add data labels. 
it is from center the values are showing for all students center inside end inside base outside end data callout like that it is showing if i take data callout that uh, marks everything is merged we can't find out easily so let it be uh, blank don't give anything okay don't select anything data table if i go with legend keys girls see actually uh, you should expand this uh, chart see now the table also is there and then above the chart also is there so don't want to prefer this table means uh, what the data i have prepared that one okay see this data is there you know the background this data the back side of the data that one don't want to prefer from the chart only the table everything is there right hmm, see here yeah, the table is also available and then here the data is also available okay so with legend keys is there girls if you don't want you can go for the option no legend keys so then only then what do we sorry one second go for this no legend keys see here only the data is the means the only the table is there chart is there but here in the table the legends are not mentioned from here only we should find out that if you want to display that also then you should take this one with legend keys see in the in the table legend keys also it is there okay error bars nothing is in the error here no errors in this grid lines if you want you can apply are you observing that the grid lines of the chart background the chart background the grid lines are displaying no i'll take this one minor horizontal and see the uh, grid lines then legends where if you don't want the legends you can disable because see it is here also it is showing girls see one second so why the things uh, see it is showing here right side also here also why here two two sides the legend keys are showing simply the um, the space is waste no so what i am doing is now none if i give from the table only we can find out no the legend keys or you can show that uh, it is in right side top side left side and then bottom side wherever you want you can apply but i am not taking because in the table only the legend is mentioned okay so this is what the tools you should use it in the chart design if i keep the cursor outside nothing will come so actually view tab is the last tab in excel if i keep the cursor on the chart then only these tools will get for you this is what the column chart okay this is what the data i have prepared for this chart the data has been prepared like this so i have sent you one file that one pivot table assignment in that you have the chart assignment see i'll show you how to work on that i gave one file no pivot table file
So, eagles, if I type anything, the file is not accepting. See, it is not taking. We can't type anything. What should I want to do? The file, it is in protected mode. So it is in protected. Editing. Good. Enable editing. If I click on enable editing, then only I can edit anything here. Okay. Just a minute. I'll, I want to protect my file with the password. Yeah, I told you enough till frequency distribution, you should be complete off. Okay, so pure chart, I'll be going to explain these concepts here. The chart also it is given for you. From here, you should start today. Okay, today assignment from which sheet you should start create a chart. Create a chart sheet is then from that sheet you should start the assignment goals. Here the data is given. Procedure is given. Results also it is given. You should read that. Uh, what is that? You have to read that procedure and then you have to plot, uh, plot the chart here only. See one first one. I'll show you how to do. Actually, what related data is this? I, uh, it's a population data. Okay now, wildlife population data, bears, dolphins, whales. Okay, so I should be find out uh, which month. Uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, what is that? Uh, base or dolphins or uh, whales population is highest. Which one is the lowest? Everything we should be find out here. Okay. So just you select the data girls. So what all the things it is given here to create a line chart execute some following steps. This is a line chart actually. Okay. So what it is given here the first step select the range from a1 is to d7. Where is from a1? a1 this one the month a1. From A1 is to D7, I should select. Yeah, done, selected. What about the second step? What should I want to do? On insert tab, okay, I should go for insert tab. Chart groups, this is what chart group. Where is the chart group? These are charts. See, this is a chart group. Click on, click the line symbol. Where is the line symbol, girls, here? This is line symbol, okay? Just a minute.
Hmm. Okay. So what I what I was explaining. So select the data. So chart groups. The line symbol is there. No, there you should click. And the third step is what line. Uh, click line with the markers. Where it is there? You have to search girls. This is line. This is stacked line. This is hundred percent stacked line. Line with markers. Yeah, I got it. So the third step, what it is given? Line with markers. That the type of chart I should select. Not this one. This is a stacked line with markers. See the title here. Not this one also. And then not this one also. The fourth one. Line with markers is there. No, I should select that one. I should click on that. So like that, I should search the option and then I should plot. So just you match this and then keep the chart here only. Keep the chart only. So just you compare this one and this one. Is it both the charts are same? Is there any uh, difference? Is there any difference, girls? Everything is same only, no? So in the January month, the bears is there, no? So it has to see it is rising. The population is increasing in the January month. And then what about dolphins from which month? From January it is decreased totally, completely it is decreased population. What about whales? Some variation is there. It is decreasing, increasing, decreasing, increasing. Variations is there. So here, which population is highest? Bears population is increasing. Um, variations for in the which animal variations is there? This one. Some changes is there in the whales. But what about dolphin? Completely it is going down is it same or different girls the chart this the this chart and that uh, this chart both are same, same only. Okay. Uh, same chart only the same thing you should follow for the next step okay see change chart type is it uh, the tool is there girls yes it is there just uh, click on the chart yeah Chart design. Excuse me, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, could you please tell me how do we send it to you? Like, do we have to take a screenshot of it and send it to you through Gmail or like how to send it to you? This file I sent now for you. Yes, ma'am. This file you should open it. You have to do like this. How I am doing like that, you should send it. In the mail, you should send it. I have sent like, yeah, the we mail. have to save this file and uh, send it to you ah, through email, right? you have to attach for mail and then you should send it through okay, mail you have to send it uh, hmm. don't want screenshot all the things it is burden work so you have to do this work you should save the file attach to the gmail and then send it for me okay ma'am but when i did that uh, pivot table uh, hmm. the problem is that hmm. it was not i was not able to do in this file the, mm -hmm. uh, the file that you gave i it uh, uh -huh. i file get it what happened file get actually i was not able to uh, perform mm -hmm. any anything on mm -hmm. this uh, mm -hmm. file that mm -hmm. you sent mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. i uh, opened a new file and i had to do in that mm -hmm. That's some enable so, editing option. It will come in the beginning. That one you have. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that that I did. That I did. After that, it's asking for some advanced mm. option. Something it said. I don't mm. know. I tried everything, but it's not working. So mm. I'm. I shall I send it uh, in another file only for that uh, private table. Mm hmm. Yeah. How how the thing okay. is comfortable for you? It is there. You follow like that. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. So next procedure it is given here. You should read that and you should follow the next chart. Okay. See here. Uh, the procedure change chart type is there. No girls. You should click on this chart type. Uh, sorry, chart design tab. In that change chart type is there. See, actually here line chart is there. What about next worst uh, result means it has to change to the column. Here it is showing line. It has to change for which one? For the column. That procedure it has given here. Is that tool is the available here? Yes, here it is there. Just now I explained no for you how to change the styles, chart type styles. That one. Okay, what I want to do means you can easily change to the 
you can easily change to the different uh, type of chart at any time select the chart yeah i have selected on design tab this is what design tab in the type group where is the type group let change chart this one okay type i got it here oh on the left side okay left side click column where is the column yeah click on this column mm yeah the first one girls you should select this first one and then okay theme huh? once again i'll i'll make control z you copy this chart copy and then paste it okay sorry control z you do just you select this make duplicate copy and then keep the cursor paste it okay now hmm so now what i have to do means select the chart i again see i'm following this one chart design change chart type after that what should i want to do guys read the third one on the left side on the left side guys this is column okay click on left side ma click the column this one first one okay see <clears throat> both the things are matching same see bears dolphins whales <clears throat> everything is correct only yeah but one thing is different here no title of the chart so you should click on this you have to give you have to type wild life population just outside you click see now the charts are looking similar both the charts are the same only see it has to be your assignment should be like this girls you have to do like this this is the screenshot this is the chart actually again this chart you should copy and then you should paste it here and then you have to follow the step understood what i told girls what i am telling yes ma'am what you have to do for the next chart what you are going to do this chart is there no you have to copy this copy keep the cursor here paste okay now then read the steps and then do it will change like this is there both the charts are same both the charts are looking same similar is there no so if you want to get the similar things you should select the chart where i got this chart from where i got it girls copy from copy paste okay from above from this chart copy and then paste so what about the next one switch rows column okay okay so chart design see this option where where ah uh, this one read what it is given here if you want to display if you want to display the animals instead of the months actually what it is showing here yeah for me animals it is there bears dolphins whales whales like animals it is showing for me okay but here what it is telling if you want to display the animals instead of months on the horizontal axis execute following steps select chart yes i selected on the design chart data group where is the data group this one the data group in that what should i want to do click switch row column this one girls this one this one ma click on this see done over now is it looking both are similar now the things are showing uh, animals or the months it is not showing in animal wise it is showing month wise now the looks uh, means the chart uh, looks are lo looking or same similar is there no yes ma'am what about the next one how we are going to follow for the next one what you are going to do here any one of you tell me how to do the no, next one you copy that and uh, paste that and after and that we have to reverse that thing like uh, yeah. as we reverse the uh, rows and columns we have to reverse it again and we'll get this result yes good so this steps you should follow that's it so from where you are going to copy from this one or this one actually this is screenshot girls this is an art chart my this is picture yeah this is this is screenshot i have taken this is real chart actually so this one or this one uh, from where you are going to copy for the next chart here this one i should select copy paste it and then follow the steps you got it idea how to do the charts 
even i taught you each and every tools for you how to work on that so use this tools okay and then create a chart after that there is an uh, data series is there so you should read that and then you have to do this so results also i gave for you procedure also i gave data procedure and then chart uh, what is means the screenshot of the chart everything i gave you should what you have to do means you should uh, uh, read that steps and then you should do the similar type of chart the result should be come like this this is your results it has to come here okay everything i prepared you should read and then you should do it that's your work okay then column chart so you should do like this line chart is there you, you have to do this one and then go to the next one this is pie chart see this is a circle type pie chart the blue one is showing outside you have to show like this only this is coming out okay so after that you have to chain like this then after that it has to show in percentage you you read that steps and then do it will come like this only okay then area chart this is what area then sparkline i'll explain today you do that one later i want to explain this topic you keep it as pending this the sparkline so here uh, the sparkline ah today concepts in the today concepts i'll be going to explain for you sparkline after that you can do this then gantt chart is there it's very interesting chart girls a build a house for foundation you have started work from 1st of june so it it has taken for duration 10 days walls constructions it from 12th of june it has started in 7 days it has taken roof for roof making so it started on uh, it was started on 20th of 20th of june it it has taken 10 days windows doors constructions it has started from it means uh, 1st of july it taken 5 days like that i should be find out uh, which duration is the highest foundation and then uh, roof duration is more is there it has taken more time to build that so you have to show it in the chart so sit and do this okay and then you people are coming for the classes late okay then you people are giving the reasons why ma why girls you are coming late means you are telling some reasons ma'am i stuck in traffic okay ma'am it was too dark i thought it was still night that's why i couldn't come for the classes like that you people are giving the reasons ma'am then other reasons are you are giving i forgot to set my alarm ma'am so i couldn't attend for the class i thought it was sunday saturday so that's why the i couldn't attend for the class so what about the next one uh, reasons you people are giving i had no clean pants to wear like that 12 times you have told for me so which reasons you people have given majority hmm why you people are ir irregular so uh, which reasons you have given more i forgot to set my alarm hmm so many times you have told like this like that the data is the that of data you should show it in the in this manner see the uh, chart and then tell which one is the highest year which one is the highest one this one i forgot uh, to my alarm this is the reason is more is there the same thing you can do it in your own way just i am giving the example there is a there is a hotel management in that hotel manager the customers uh, given so many complaints oh no cleanliness one reason so many people have, has given like that no cleanliness and then cost uh, cost is much that one like that you should prepare okay and then the hotels are not opening for the proper time and service is not uh, giving proper like that the customer has given complaints so you should find out which complaints are coming more from customers that one you should show it in the chart got it no so like that there are uh, the data you should prepare and then you should uh, show it in the chart 
till uh, bar chart you should do it girls you got it an idea how to do the charts from where you have to start today you sit and do from where you have to do create a chart is then you know, from there you should start it yes <laughs> like like this you should do it see the examples i showed no like that so it will be very interesting concepts you sit and do you people will learn and your people will enjoy also this is our chart assignment i gave for you okay the people graph the concepts all completed for you people graph i don't know bubbles people graph that all the things yes, i covered in the last okay and then i'll go for the next topic <coughs> sorry i'll i'll go for my my file this is not my file i'll open my file so what concept i should explain now pivot chart girls okay okay i'll take this example only for making the pivot chart so mala foods private limited in that company these goods are sold for in the january february march and then april okay just you select the data don't select the title also just you select the data like this and then girls just you go for the pure chart actually both the names are combined have you observed pure table is different chart is different hmm? but it is the name is combined pure chart pure chart two in one the table also will apply along with chart also will come the table as well as chart also will come okay table pure table is different separate chart is separate both the things are separate separate okay but you see in the pivot chart both are combined pivot chart so what you have to do see now i'll show you select the data just click on here i am not taking the exist sorry i am not taking the new sheet i don't want new sheet i should be get the uh, pivot chart in the same sheet so that's why what i am doing select this existing worksheet just click on here and then place the cursor so leave one column and then place the cursor here only or wherever you want you can place the cursor no problem so please uh, place the cursor here just come back and then okay you do click on okay button yeah so already you know people so this one i taught you know how to use the pivot chart so now i'll arrange the data i'll take the sales in the in the axis means in the row wise january i'll click it will goes to the values and then february and then march and then april see so why january february march april these things it is go it it is showing in the values why it has taken in the values because there are values only here here numbers is there that's why it is taken to the values just close this window after that see now what the things are girls you have, you people are looking is it only table is plotted or chart is also plotted what it is plotted girls it is showing only pivot table or it is showing only chart or it is showing both ma'am i didn't get your question okay. you didn't understand i think okay i'll delete now you have the data ma here okay you have the data now if i just to select the data girls from here if i take it will be going to plot only the table okay just to select this properly ma select the data properly just click on pivot table 
see if i go for pure table only the table will plot or chart also will plot i am asking you the table also will come or chart also will come only the table yes hmm from here if i take you leave it of this one okay if i take from this uh, in this so what will come the table will come or the chart will come from this one only the chart chart only the chart will come hmm but if i take from here pure chart if i take what will happen the table also will come along with chart also will come you got it now understood now yes ma'am both the things will apply together just you click on here so don't select the new one just take existing one just place the cursor here only leave one column and then place the cursor here only just come back and then okay so just you click on the the sales one you bring it to the rows just you click on january february march april then close the window after arranging this data just close it so now is it uh, both the things are looking on the sheet is it showing on the sheet the table as well as chart also both is there or only table is there or only chart is there or both is there from both yeah from both other mm, yeah now girls if i make any changes in the table that will immediately it will reflect to the chart see i'll show you choco chips i'll make uh, i'll make, i'll change it here okay sorry not from here i should change it here only the, in the data i should change mm, choco chips see i'm changing some data ma january month data i'm changing okay na no? 30 see so we have changed the data in the january month but here in the chart also it is not reflected anything but in the table is also not reflected anything so what i want to do keep the cursor inside the pivot table analyze tab pivot table analyze tab refresh button already i taught this just click on the refresh so it is happening it is happening it's going on it's running it's happening okay so both it will reflect both are interconnected table chart both are interconnected each other if i make any changes in this data it will reflect in the table also see it is updated here and then here also it is updated have you observed this not only here it is updated here also it is updated you got it my point yes ma'am Mm. so both are chart and then table table and the chart both are interconnected each other interconnected okay if i make any changes that will be reflect in both also that's why the name it has given pivot chart pivot means table chart means this one graphical representation so that's why the name it has given pivot chart so are you understanding right what i am telling yes ma'am okay going to the next concept girls take a uh, break and then come back or you people you will take later or now only you will take you want now or later ma'am will take now itself okay then i'll continue later the concept remaining concept this conference will now be recorded so the next concept in the insert tab after the pivot chart 3d map so very interesting concept girls i'll be going to teach you how to plot that 3d map 3d map see i'll show you how to plot that same like chart and also it will helps you to analyze the the data okay see how to do that one all the things i'll show you i'll, I'll explain you i'll open my file that one i have sent no uh, what is that uh, pure table assignment i sent no in that file i'll do you 
same example only fruits vegetables we have exported no that file i am going to open now pure table assignment file that file from that file i'll explain you how to do that all the things here we have the bulk of data the huge data it is there so uh, some carrots broccoli bananas beans orange apples so these all the fruits vegetables products we have exported for the different country but i don't know which country is the highest uh, sales for which country uh, exported uh, is lowest it is there i don't know anything but i should be find out everything from 3d map okay so what i had to do you had to place the cursor inside the data set so which is that data set guys this is what the data set whatever we have prepared this one just place the cursor inside somewhere you place the cursor inside the data set after that just a minute hmm. okay so don't keep the cursor outside just place somewhere inside the data set girls so 3d map is there no just you click on that so it's loading wait for some time yeah it came now so what i want to do now yeah so however uh, you people were doing in the pivot table you people are arranging no means the value uh, the amount should be come to the values row wise column wise like that you people are arranging no like that here also it is there girls i'll i'll give you i'll give the idea how to do see some list are there we had to drag and we had to drop it out in the height height field okay uh, i'm going to put the amount mm eagle some list on um, some field list are there we should be drag and drop to the particular fields okay for the height one Uh, what i given there uh, what i selected there uh, amount okay for the next one for the category i am going to take it as um, product just you drag and drop to the category okay the next one girls so in the time usually what we can take no amount is not related to time category uh, country order id product then which one is the related one for the time which has to take for this the date i said date mm, you drag and drop to the time field yeah see this is what i have done like this okay after uh, arranging this data you can close this window again i'll repeat for you uh, this will comes automatically for you the height for the height you should put it amount for category you should put it a uh, product and then for time you should put it date that's it after that you can close this window after arranging this okay so now girls the video will be there i'll play this okay for each and every minute for the date see for the each and every date time it will show you the exported things just you play the button click on play button see now uh, I, i think wait uh, wait girls i'll zoom it then your people comes to know first i'll rotate this one yeah so i'll zoom it then you will people will come to know and then girls is there any country name here to find out is it mexico or canada or what we can find out ma anything else from this one from the 3d map nothing no ma'am ah what we had to do means we had to um, give the labels for the country so there will be tools ma here from the tools we can do 
map labels just click on map labels yeah see from this i can oh this is a france again i'll zoom it just you drag zoom drag zoom drag like this germany is showing okay united kingdom london germany france so just you can rotate for any angle like this yeah hmm see now girls like this you, sh you should be make it you want flat map then you should you have to go for this one option flat map there will be no spherical no circle one okay so better that is looking good spherical if it is there that will looks good so flat map is there no you just disable off see you want zoom you can zoom like this now girls i'll play button click see ma for each and day for each and minute see it is rising the exported the transaction is rising see is it rising the chart is increasing day by day the transaction is increasing now for germany france and then london yeah so and then i want to find out the location for germany uh, i don't know where it is there or canada i want to find out here canada only it is not there i should search like this i don't have patient to search like this it will be very risk girls how to find out the canada ma where it is there yeah i don't know which yeah which countries oh yeah canada here only it is there. see instead of searching like this what i have to do there will be option here find location you click on find location just to give the name canada click on find button immediately it will be going to show you just ah uh, see you have to zoom this is what the canada Hmm, see so understood no map labels if i off the map labels yes. then it will be difficult to find out the country name so you should enable this flat map means there will be no spherical it will be flat mm -hmm. it will not looks like good just off this find location it will be easy for finding any address that, uh, like that 3d if you want 3d chart you can apply actually it is in 3d only ah see it will comes like this if you don't want you can delete off or control z you do you delete off this if you don't want oh sorry otherwise you off this delete button you delete press delete key select this delete key press delete okay hmm. you got it on idea how the 3d map map will work what do you understood from the 3d yes, map girls what do you understood hmm again i'll play button i'll click observe carefully and then tell me for me what the things is going on this is united states of america i'll zoom it so how the things you want to rotate like that you should do it hey it was showing you know the country name each and every minute date it is showing it is rising the exported items are rising wait girls i'll rotate it united states girls so what do you understood from this girls 
What do you understood, ma'am? Ma'am, time passes, the export increases. So, so it just uh, you know there's a display of increasing. And then, can you tell me, girls, uh, for the United States of America, which product is exported is more? Is there? Um, banana. 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 Which color is that? See the legend and then tell. Legend is given here. Mom, it's like golden color. Hmm. Orange. Almost near to the orange color. Okay. Gold color is here. Mango is orange. Hmm. Okay, is it correct? Which one? Which can you tell me the which product is the lowest exported from our country to the United States of America? Which product beans. is the? Huh? Beans. Beans. Ah, uh, the purple one. Beans. Yeah, correct. Hmm. So like this, we can analyze the data from the three D map also. Okay. If you want to hear, there will be option themes also is there. You can change however you want. the themes you can change uh this one i don't want better this is looking good this is understood now girls i am closing this now i'll close this yeah close this file so next topic is spark lines i'll be going to explain the new topic now spark lines the spark lines there are uh, three things you have line column and win loss how to plot all the things i'll show you i'll explain you now Yes, girls. I have same data only, ma. Student names and then six subject of the students. Okay. So here I should be plot for each and every cells. For each and every cells, I should be plot the graph. Okay. And then line, I should I plot here line column. So see, actually, what is telling? What is that line? Spark line. Spark lines or the mini charts. What is what type of chart? Mini. a uh, mini charts placed in single cell where i can place in the single cell for single and every cells i can place it okay just you place the cursor on the first cell of asha just click on the line so what it is asking for you it is asking you to select the data range just you click on here from where to where you are going to select from canada to max you are going to select it okay from canada to max you select it of first student asha just you come back then okay you do see for the first student asha it's came the line chart came this is a mini chart so again i'll tell you the definition 
here from the definition easily we can understand spark line or mini charts placed in single cell yeah i placed it in the single cell after that what i want to do i have to drag fully till shiva i should drag it for each and every cell it is showing mini chart okay if i keep the cursor outside nothing is used for you so what you have to do means you should place the cursor inside this chart in the line chart then the lastly you will get a extra tab that is sparkline tools to work on this so here i'll explain you how to work on the things there will be a styles are there so i'll take the black one the black one style i have selected and then there is a tool name sparkline color or uh, you can change how whichever color you want if you want dark blue you can change to the dark blue if you want yellow you can change to the yellow but the black is looking good so take black only sparkline color you understood now how to change yeah <laughs> the next one negative points is there any negative values here negative scores nothing here next come to the next one markers okay actually six subjects are there for all six subject it will mark in the color uh, for example i'll be going to take um, no yellow won't look good I, orange i have taken orange bells but lines are very thin ma so what you have to do means weight of the line you should increase of if you take more it will be looks horrible so don't take the this one ah yeah this is medium is okay medium line is okay for you okay right so the orange why the color is orange it is a market all subjects it is market like this market as like this so marker color in that you had to go for high point i don't know asha score in the which subject is highest i don't know so from the high point i can find out that i'll take green parrot green i'll take light color wherever green color it is showing you that is a highest marks in all six subjects highest marks they have got it the next one i should be find out lowest so for them for that one i am giving red color just you click on red wherever you people are observing red that is indicating lowest low value and then first point first point means the first subject which is the first subject kannada which is the last subject max so what i want to do first subject is the you no know, that one i'll be going to mark in purple okay i'll be going to show in purple and then for the max last subject last point for that one i am going to show it as in sky blue see so now from color from color wise we should find it so oh, green is highest red is lowest purple is the kannada subjects and then blue is the last subject okay max subject wherever orange is there that is marked for all subjects like this we should find out this is what girls line chart you got it ma so what is spark line girls spark line spark line what do you understood from spark line hmm Mom, the chart which can be plotted in cells, single cell, mini chart. This is mini, small. Okay. The next one, I'll be going to show you column. Same thing like this only. So this is also same message only. Spark lines or mini charts placed in the single cells, each representing a row of data in your selection. Just click on here. It is asking data range. so you better to select the first student of uh, canada to max just okay would do just you drag it so little bit uh, you increase the column width of this column just to place the cursor if i not place the cursor if i place the cursor outside the view tab is the last nothing will come for this one to do like this to mark as colors there is no tools if i keep the cursor inside somewhere then you will get spark line first i'll be going to take the black one the black one is there i'll take black or else you people you can change which color you want okay 
but black is better marker colors is there any negative scores the students got negative scores nothing in that markers it is freezed this option you can't use this option will not support for this it is freezed come to the next one i'll take parrot green highest for highest for the lowest red see thin red color lines is there that one first point means first subject i'll be going to highlight in purple and then for the last subject max i'll be going to show it in blue 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 this blue see so here for all student it is not marked in purple first subject because it is ignored because highest marks is there that's why it is ignored here ignore okay and then for the last subject actually last subjects we have taken blue sky blue but it is uh, mm, not uh, it is not for everyone it is not highlighted in the blue only it is ignored because highest is there that's why it is ignored okay so this is what line and column mini charts then i'll come to the win and loss win means profit loss win loss profit and loss this is what my business girls i started my business in 2010 up to 2016 i should be find out uh, which year is the profit is more which pro, which month sorry which year is the profit is less i should be find out profit and loss from 2010 to 2016 i should be find out just you place the cursor on this go to insert tab win loss click on this same thing you should select the data range So from here to here, you select it. Just OK, you do. So wherever the blue is there, that is what profit. The profit means no loss in that year. Wherever red it is showing below the basement, it is showing below the red one. That is what loss. Can you tell me which year uh, loss is more for you? Actually, two thousand eleven, twelve. Also loss for you. Fourteen, fifteen is also loss for you. I am asking you, uh, which year loss is more for you? Hmm. Two thousand eleven and twenty. Two thousand eleven and twenty. Thirty-three, twenty-one. Okay, correct. Good ma. Just place the cursor on this. I am going for this. Okay, I'll take this one first. High point. Parrot green. <laughs> can you tell me which year is the highest profit for in, in our business highest profit in our business is 15 month 15 16 2015 and 16 ma'am yeah so 15 16 okay good then i'll come to the low ma i'll be going to take pink color see this is pink that is red okay so someone has told to me ma'am 2011 12 is a lowest ma'am means more loss someone has told okay yes it's correct only they did showing you. the green shows you highest profit the pink show you uh, highest loss this is highest profit this is highest loss second uh, uh, loss is uh, that is uh, 14 15 mm. and then that's it first point lower last point don't want leave it so now you understood but here there will be confusion pink also is there red also is there green also is there so i should be indicate some in the what some box in the box i should be mention oh parrot green highest profit the pink low highest loss red second loss like that i should be give some data here just place a cursor on this uh, in the review tab in the review tab there is an option here comment i am using comment to insert a comment for the cell shift plus f2 why should i want to use the comment actually why what is the message it is giving here read that any one of you read that message what should i why should i want to give comment for the what purpose i should give about hmm. add a note about this part of the document yeah some note i want to show it that's why i'm taking that okay 
just see that backspace you do green I'll show sorry one second wait blue I'll take first blue blue color is what just profit okay green is the now that is highest profit mm, pink sorry first I'll, I'll i'll tell you the red one okay i'll show the red that is loss pink is the now sorry highest loss okay seagulls now it is not showing nothing right if i place the cursor on that data then anybody can understand from this comment box yes or no girls if i keep cursor yes, somewhere and there yes ma'am hmm if i keep the cursor someone uh, somewhere and there it will not show you anything just if i place the cursor on that data anybody can recognize this oh the blue is profit okay green is highest profit or oh, red is loss pink is highest loss like that anybody can understand from that uh, from that comment box okay hmm. i hope you understood the sparkline uh, concept Yes, ma'am. Do you know yes, what is? Do you know slicer and the timeline concepts? Did I teach you that in the previous section? Remember that? Yes, ma'am. In that pie word mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, then I explained already. Then explain what is the slicer. What is the use of slicer? In a simple word, only one word you can use, and then you can answer for that. all of you put it in the chat box fast i want to view your answers how the answers you are, you are giving what is slicer what is the use of slicer that is my question please answer in the chat box girls fast don't want to waste the time i am waiting for your answer helps to filter the data only one student given the answer next to okay two students over filter data from column mm -hmm. filter data from from the table like that you should answer priya filter data from column not from column from table you have to give like the times yeah um so it can also filter data from rows hmm that that is filter button filter button is different slicer is different from the table uh, means from the data from the table you people can filter the data very easily and it helps to analyze the data no one answer like that. everyone are giving same answer filter data filter data why you can't analyze anything from from the slicer you can analyze also no not only it helps to filter the data it also it helps to analyze and summarize the data also easily we can analyze ma okay next one what about timeline what is the use of timeline any anyway, so answer to my question in the chat box girls fast timeline about timeline same like like this only already you know that 
I taught in the pivot table concept, timeline, slicer, or everything. I am waiting for your answer. I am asking you what is the use of timeline. Fast girls, I am waiting here. I had to go for the next concept. No one answered for the timeline. Do you know the answer? Display timings, Priya. No. Wrong answer. Display timings is wrong answer. It's to filter date and time. Date is okay, not time, girls. Vinuta Shri. It helps to filter the date, not the time, girls. Okay. The date you can filter, not the time. And also it helps to analyze the, the data uh, in uh, date wise. Okay. This is what the answer for that. Come to the next one, hyperlink. I'll be going to show you the new concept now, hyperlink. Actually, what is the shortcut key for a link? Control K. Okay. What are the things it's here it is showing here? I create a link in your document for a quick access to the web page and the files. Girls, if you have any important files, that files you can keep the link for the Excel file. Again, I'm telling you from hyperlink what you can do. If any any important files, documents, if you have that link, you can you can keep it for this file. And whenever you want, you can open that file very quickly. Immediately you can open. See, I'll show you. Actually, uh, there are uh, different ways or uh, methods are there for the hyperlinks. I'll show you how to do that. We are in which sheet actually, girls? I am in which sheet, ma? Sparkline sheet, okay? That sheet, I should be linked for the uh, pivot table. For which sheet to which sheet I am linking? From sparkline to, sorry, it closes. So I'm from spa, sparkline to pivot table sheet, I am linking, okay? Just somewhere you keep the cursor, okay? Uh, insert hyperlink. You need to go for this one. Left side, some four options are there for to do the links for different ways. Okay. The first one existing file or web page means other files you can attach for the Excel file. Place in this documents means in the same file only you, you people are linking from one sheet to another sheet. That option in this one. Again, I'll repeat you from one file to sorry, not one file from one sheet to another sheet in the same file. In the same file. From one sheet to another sheet, if you want to link, you should use this option. Place in this document. So I am in Sparkline sheet. For which sheet you want to link? For pivot table. You should select the sheet name here. Select the sheet. Okay, you do. So the link is generated here. If I click on this, immediately you people are in pivot table. This is pivot table sheet. Again, girls, I had to go for the same sheet, Sparkline. You should keep the cursor here. <clears throat> Hyperlink, you need to select the, what is that ma, the sheet, yeah, sparkline, select that one. Okay, you do, see, the link is generated here. If I click on here, for which sheet we, we, we people will go? Sparkline sheet, sparkline mm. sheet. Mm. Again, if I click on here, table, pivot. Pivot table. From one sheet to another sheet, what we, we are doing actually? We are linked, okay? From that sheet to, for this sheet, immediately we can access. This is what the concept you should understand. Hmm? And then girls, I have some files, ma. Actually, what is my file name? Any one of you find out and tell. What is my file name? Let's see who will answer. What is my file name? Can you find out my file name? I am in which file? See and tell me properly. It is showing on the screen, girls. What is my file name? 
all tabs my file name is all, all tabs mm. in my in the downloads in my system downloads i kept one file that is pure table file okay that file is important for me i should attach means i should link for the all tabs file from one file to another file i am linking i am attaching okay just girls keep the cursor somewhere hyperlink you go the first option ma existing file or web page is the no you go there actually which sheet you want to link pure table assignment sheet is there no means that file is there no that file i should attach for this for this place for this file okay you do see this is actually file this is not a sheet if i click on this file that file will open see it is asking password i should give the password then it will open hmm, see that file is open pure table file this is so what do you understood from first and second option the first one and second option what do you got it from that what is existing file or web page what is the place in this document from one file to another file if you want to link first option from one sheet to another sheet if you want to link place in this document option is there you need to select that remaining concepts i'll be continuing in the next class this hyperlink concept i'll be continuing tomorrow okay so i hope girls you understood that today's class is there any doubts no ma'am so don't leave the meeting ma i i have to take the attendance Yes, girls. I took. Ma'am, I took your attendance. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Ma uh, till when do we have this class? Is it till thirtieth September? Uh, mm, twentieth, twenty first. I think it will complete. Twenty first of the next week, Wednesday. I think. Wait, I'll check. Twenty first, maybe twenty first, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Next week it 